What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got some community projects that I've been wrapping up and I'm excited to share with you. I've been experimenting with ways to turn evil portals and captive portals into functional offline tools. And in this video, I will show you three of them that I created. The first is a cipher portal, a one-time cryptic message system. The second is a broadcaster, which lets you send messages to anybody who connects to your Wi-Fi. And the third is a portal messenger, a simple way for someone to reply to your message with no internet needed. All of these are built to work perfectly with pen testing multi-tools, anything with the Bruce firmware, the BLE Shark Nano, anything that supports evil portals or captive portals. All these projects are easy to customize. All you gotta do is open the HTML file, make a few changes, save it, and then upload it to your device and you're ready to go. Each project has a readme file, so you know exactly how to use it and what to look out for and how to really use it to its best potential. Now, when I first built these, I realized something. If somebody inspected the HTML file in their browser, they could see the messages in plain text without having to log in. That kind of defeated the purpose, so I went back, reworked it, and added a simple layer of protection using a Visionaire cipher. It's not military grade, but it hides the message well enough to make it challenging. Disclaimer, all these tools are for educational purposes only. They're designed for learning, creative projects, and secure offline communications. Please don't use them in unauthorized or unethical ways. All right, so first off, the Cypher portal. So this is a spinoff from the original creation I made. Um, I found out that it wasn't secure, so the way to make it a little bit more secure this time around was to actually put a Visionaire Cypher in and tell the other parties that are going to decode it what the actual key is to unlock the message. When you look at this HTML file, if you were to expect it, you can actually see the password in plain sight, but it's not super secure, but it does throw off non-technical users. People that look at the file, um, they're not, they're not going to know the key to decrypt the cipher. So that's something that you'll need to do. So I also left a link to our good uh, encoder and decoder. I also had that in the file too, so you can just cut and paste that in your web browser to use it. Just a fun way to send cryptic messages. Next up is the portal broadcaster. It's a one-time message to anybody that connects to your Wi-Fi network. So you just put free Wi-Fi and as soon as they connect, it gives you a little message that pops up on your screen. It doesn't do anything besides just like a little broadcasting system. It's just a straight out broadcast. You can broadcast whatever you want. And to manipulate any of these files and the messages, you just go into the HTML file, you change the message you want to be broadcasted, and then you save it to your device. And lastly, the portal messenger. So basically the way this one works is that the host that's hosting the portal will have a message uh, prompting a response, and then the person that connects to the evil portal or connects to the Wi-Fi network can submit a response, and it will actually pop up on the device. But that's it. Like there's only that's you only get that one communication right there, and that's it. So once the it gets received, you'll get it on your device, whatever the messages are, and then you can go from there. It's not like something you can actually go message back and forth. It's just one message. It's like saying, "Hey, is anybody out there? I need your phone number." And then you get the response, "Here's my phone number. If you're looking for me," and then that's it. So just a really bad example, but that's basically what it is. And that's it. It's just a short video. Again, the README files have a more descript explanation of all these tools that I built for the community. Uh, if you liked any of the firmware themes I had in this video, they're all created by me, and I have them also on my Proton drive. If you're interested in Proton, uh, I do have a link in the description to help you get a discount on it as well as its affiliate link. If you want any of the special themes or any of the special projects I work on for the community, go ahead and go onto that Proton Drive file. The Proton Drive file will be in the Discord server uh, if you're looking for it. I have a whole bunch of stuff there. And I hope you guys enjoy these community projects. I'm going to continue to work on some more, but I think this is just really fun that you use on your all your pen testing gadgets, especially Bruce. Um, I the, One of the gadgets featured was a T-Display. It's a $12 device. And uh, to have that kind of power capability with, for on a, with using a $12 device, that's pretty cool. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember that safety is an illusion.